Hello, this is Nacho Chicken, also known as Nacho Game Dev on Twitch. As you'll notice, I am now talking to you. This is because I purchased a microphone, which means that now I will be able to speak to you and you will be able to hear my wonderful, glorious voice. That's besides the point. Anyway, uh, I mentioned that I'm also streaming on Twitch and I do this from usually from 6 p.m. 6:30 p.m. to uh, 10 p.m. central from Tuesday, on Tuesday through Friday. But uh, I haven't been doing this the past couple of days. And the reason for doing for not streaming is because I have been really sick and I have had to go to the doctor. And so far no really answers. I'm going to end up getting an endoscopy some sometime. So, I don't know. I'll have to stop streaming that day too. But anyway, I promised I would release some sort of video to compensate for the lack of streaming anything, so this is that. Uh, I also want to take this opportunity to apologize for not releasing some sort of tutorial for my dynamic text box engine. I know that, that many of you have been waiting about a year now for it, but it since l about last year, I think April of last year, I've been really, really ill, and it at the after a while, it just like kind of sapped my will of doing anything related to game development. Uh, I know that's no excuse for th that's not that's there is no excuse for not releasing it after promising it, but just know that I now that I'm. I'm not feeling better, but, and I still don't know what it is, but now that I'm back doing game development, that I'll be working on a tutorial event sometime soon, so you'll have that to look forward to. As far as the game I'm working on right now, I'm still working on the same game. It's running on a different engine though, so I'll go ahead and show that off right now. So this is it. Um, the engine looks a bit different. Uh, as you can see, there's no smooth walking forward or d a diagonal walls, kind of. But anyway, these graphics are all placeholders, so if you don't like what you're seeing, then I don't know, you might eventually sometime. But yeah, this engine is just basically because the other one was much, much too, too much work for me to handle with drawing the walls. And these graf these wall graphics are actually placeholders. They're dr generously uh, do donated, volunteered by one of my viewers on Twitch, Vlad Ostrovsky. So thank you to him for that. Yeah, just show off a couple of things you can do. There are different NPCs, different places you can go. You can just talk to the NPCs and such. You can go and the options menu is almost fully functional. I plan on working a bit more on the player menu and I haven't finished implementing classes into the game yet, so for some reason everybody's a luchador. Yeah, I plan on working on this screen some more and this screen. Because the player stats are kinda just there. They're not it's not really that great of a menu and I plan on making it more in depth and display more information. You can Oh yeah, um, I might want to mention that you can actually go through the menu and you don't have to push up and down. You push the button, the key that it shows. Like if I push E, I go to the edit party menu. Of course, I don't have more than one player in my party, so that doesn't really do anything. But anyway, the items menu works perfectly fine. You can like look at an item and inspect it. Or you can just get rid of it completely. Uh, key Id certain items, like key items, you can't drop, obviously. Uh, potions, you can you can use them. And actually, let me go ahead and go back just to show that it works. Right now, my player has 12 hit points. And once I use the potion, he will have 13. So there, that 
it's showing that it's working fine. And you can't equip all the weapons and armor. So, oh, wrong player. Yeah, so it shows up on your character. And if you decide for whatever, who knows what reason, to throw away something that you have equipped, it'll just automatically unequip it. It won't show up on your player anymore. So it just automatically unequips it. There's some nice uh, features right now. This menu is kind of bare because I don't have much done as far as system settings, but you can change the color of the entire HUD, like to this nice beige color. Uh, there are some other. Oops, wrong menu. There are some other options. Let me go. Let's just cycle through them. This banana, it's like kind of brown, orange, pinkish color. Kind of bluish purple, very deep blue, uh, cool mint color. This actually used to be the default color, so just interesting note. And um, oh, how did that reference get there? So yeah, that is that is in no way a reference to Earthbound. Anyway, so that's working fine. Um, what else did I want to? Know? Oh yes, uh, shopping is actually almost done. I think this is the last thing I got done on a stream. You can interact with a shop. Well, before I go ahead and do that, you, you can talk to the shopkeeper, and you actually don't talk to the shopkeeper to enter the shop, you interact with, and then you... This just has placeholder text and stuff, so don't mind it. But this is what the shop menu looks like. It's not much because there's no inventory yet, but you can actually do stuff with it. Yeah, I, I, you can't go in right now, the door is locked, so I kind of just phase through the ceiling to get in. In case you were wondering how I was able to do that. But anyway, yeah, that's just uh, some development on my game. And yeah. walking around, showing off a bit of the engine. But yeah, uh, I guess that's it for this video. I will be making more videos on game development and hopefully get, be getting the tutorial for the Dynamic Text Box engine soon. So uh, stay tuned for that. And make sure to follow Twitter, my Twitter as well. It's, it's at Nacho Chicken, so I get the latest information on that kind of stuff too. So. Again, this is Nacho Chicken. Thank you for watching.